Hi, so today we are going to do some cardio, strength training, ab workout, balance exercises, stretching. This is a full body workout. Have some weights handy. So if you want to use the weights, you'll have the option if they're close by or water bottles, whatever you have that you can use. And I think that's about it. Let's get started. All right, so we're just gonna start with a warm up. So let's just start walking. So find the pace that's right for you. So bringing our arms into it, swinging the arms a little bit. Now let's bring our feet wide. So just bringing the feet wide, just a gentle walk. And feet back together. And let's just tap the toes forward. So it's always good to warm up the body before you do any kind of strength training. Don't worry, I'm not pressing you. I'm not gonna push you too much with, with weights. I just want you to, you can use one pound weights, you can use whatever works for you. So if this is your first time, you could do it without weights and then next time try it with them. Totally up to whatever you're comfortable with. Let's go to a heel tap. So let's press the hands forward as well. So pressing. Let's go into a side step. So thanks for joining me today. Let's go back into a march. Okay, let's bring our foot out to the side. We're just gonna bring our arm over. And then the other side. So if you can do more, you can pick up the pace a little bit. But otherwise, just stay with me or go slower. Let's press forward again. Heel tap. And let's go into a hamstring curl and tricep press. So back. Now in terms of what weight you use, you can use anything between one to five pounds. You can even go heavier if that is what you're comfortable with. So start with a light weight and then move it up over time. But if you're finding that, you know, with the number that we're doing, and if you find that it's super easy still, then definitely use a heavier weight to challenge that muscle. Back to a march. All right, we're gonna do single jack. So we're gonna bring one leg out, one hand out. If you have shoulder issues, just bring your arms up halfway. To a march and we're just going to reach one arm overhead and then the other side. Okay, tapping in front again. So toe tap, pressing forward. Let's go into a side step. So hand or foot to foot. And let's bring the arms overhead again. So one goes over and then the other side. So just a side tap. back into a march. So pressing the hands forward if you'd like. And let's go into our hamstring curl and tricep press. All right, you should be good and warmed up. OK, 
Okay, so we are going to pick up some weights. So if you don't want to, as I said, you don't, don't feel you have to by any means. Um, so when we're doing the exercises, I want you to, over, over time, whenever you're doing this class, find a weight that does work for you though, that is challenging towards the end of the exercise, okay? So for the first one, we're just gonna do a lateral raise and we're gonna tap out. So weights are on the side. I've just got a three pound weight. It's a fairly light weight, but start with a one pound weight if that's what you're comfortable with or without. So tapping to the side and back down. Tapping and down. So working the shoulders here. We're also challenging our balance. Most of the exercises that I've chosen today are challenging the balance. I, it's always good to work on, on the balance. So we're going up to 10. This is six. So you're only going to about shoulder height, okay? Now for the next one, we're just gonna bring an arm forward, opposite leg goes back. So one arm forward, opposite foot goes back. So I'm going slowly just so we stay safe. You have an opportunity to ground your feet into the floor. This is six. One more on each side. Okay, for the next one we're doing a chest press. So arms up at the side and a heel tap at the same time. Five, six, and 10. Okay, next one, we're not moving our feet. We are going to um, you're bending over, stick your glutes back, okay? So the main reason we're doing that is to flatten the back. We don't want to be um, curled over, so we want a flat back. Arms are hanging down. You're lifting that weight up, so it's like you're squeezing an orange or a water bottle, anything in between your shoulder blades. So squeeze and down. Knees are bent, okay? Keep them loose. So let's start. One, two, squeeze. Four, six, eight, squeeze, last one, squeeze and hold. Excellent, okay, put that weight down. Let's just stand up for a second. We're gonna go back into that same position and we're gonna work our triceps. Okay. So back in that same position, sticking the glutes out, flatten your back. We're bringing those arms up. Now keep your arms there and I want you to press that weight back. So now we're working the triceps. So this weight might be a little bit heavy. If it is, just drop to a lower weight. Okay, so kicking back, they're called tricep kickbacks and back to the shoulder. So you can see my upper arms are really not moving very much. I'm trying to keep them in that position. Pressing back, feeling that in the triceps. Four, five, remember, loose knees, six, seven, press, two more, nine, and ten. Excellent. Okay, we'll put the weights down for a minute, and we're going to do a calf raise. So, you can use weights for this one if you wish. If you have a wall, you can use a wall if you feel a little bit off balance. We're just gonna lift our heels up as high as we can and back down. Now you don't have to hold onto the wall, it's up to you and what you're comfortable with. You could just lift up, but it is much harder. So for safety, if you have a wall close by, just use the wall. All right, ready? So lifting those heels up and down, that's one. Two, 
So slowly going up and slowly coming down. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And two more. Nine. Last one. And ten. Good. Okay, next one. Again, you can use weights if you feel you're at that stage that you can. We're going to do a squat. So, the thing here is when you come up for the squat, squeeze those glutes, okay? We're doing a glute exercise as well. So, feet are about this far apart, okay? And you're just going to squat down. So, you can go at different levels. So, you can just go down a tiny bit, press up through those heels and come up. Or you can go down, it's like you're sitting in a chair and come up. Find the level that suits you. So don't push it for the first time because this is quite a challenging exercise. So maybe just go down a little bit and come up. So main thing is here is you're really pressing those glutes back as if you're in a chair and come up again. Your knees are, should not really be going over your toes. So try and really press back and up. Okay, let's start together. So feet apart, sitting back, squeezing those glutes, so squeeze. And again, squeeze and hold, squeeze, this is three, four, squeeze, five more, squeeze. So we're squeezing our glutes when we're, when we're standing up, okay? Seven. Squeeze, that's eight. We've got two more. Squeeze. The last one. And squeeze and hold. So we're gonna hold. One, two, three, four. Squeeze those glutes. Five, six, seven, eight nine and ten okay shake that out good job okay so we're moving on to abs so we're gonna have our hands behind the head feet are apart and we're just gonna twist so hands behind the head and we're just twisting to one side breathing out as we come back to the center to the other side and breathe out breathing out So keep those abs tight. At this point, you're at this point when you're turning back is when you're really tightening those abs. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, two more, nine, last one, ten, and the other side. Good. Okay, staying in that position, we're just having the hands to the side and we are just reaching down to the side. So reach. My legs are not moving, come back in that position. Other side. And standing up. Standing up. So just reaching the hands down to about the knee. Or as far as you can, that's comfortable without bending your whole body over. Keeping those abs tight, thinking about those abs. We've got two more on each side. If you need to take a break, just come out of it and come back into the exercise whenever you can. And last one on each side. Good. 
Okay, this one challenges your balance a little bit more, so use your judgment on whether or not you can do it. Hands up at the behind the head again, and we're just gonna raise a knee and bring that elbow towards the knee. Okay, so other side. That's one. Two. Three. Four. This is six, seven, nine, and last one on each side. Good. Okay, next one is a core exercise. We are doing Superman's. So you can either use the wall if you want it to be, if, if you need it, okay? So what we're doing, I'm gonna face this way so it's easier for you to see. We're bringing the opposite hand and the opposite leg up. So basically you're doing this here, just bringing them up, trying to have them in a fairly straight line with each other. Now if you need to, you can hold on to the wall, okay? So you're just bringing them back as much as you can and back down. I think we'll focus on one side first and then we'll focus on the other side. Just for those who are using a wall, it'll just be easier rather than going back and forth. So holding onto the wall, this is one. Standing back in a straight position, two. Now you'll also feel this in your glutes, three, four, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Shake those legs out a little bit. It's hard on the one leg that's standing there. And going to the other side. So holding on with the opposite hand, opposite leg and opposite arm going up. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great, okay, we are going to do some balance exercises. So we are just going to put all of our weight onto one foot and we're just gonna lift the other foot up. So again here, do what you're comfortable with. For some people, if this is what you're comfortable with, just raising that foot a little bit, that's great, okay? Or if you need to, hold onto a wall for the first time and lift that foot and have your hand come off the wall, but then you have the wall there for safety or a chair, that's fine too. If you feel your balance is fairly good already and you don't need that, you can bring your arms to the side, lift that one foot, and we're gonna hold for 10. Okay, so everyone ready? Let's go. So 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, relax those arms for a minute. We're gonna go to the other side. Okay, ground that other foot into the floor, bringing the arms up, lifting that opposite foot, and 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Okay, next one. I want you to have one foot facing, facing me. You're gonna bring the other foot in front. So it's directly in front of the other foot. You're just rocking a little bit forward, bring that foot up and back down. Okay, so foot grounded into the floor, other foot goes in front. You're just gonna go forward. When you come back, lift that foot off the floor a tiny bit and it goes back down. So this is two, three, Four, five, 
six, seven, eight, and two more, and nine, and last one. Excellent. Okay, let's switch to the other side. So ground that other foot into the floor, bring the other foot right in front. You're rocking a little bit forward, coming back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and 10. Good, excellent. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit more cardio and, uh, and then we're gonna finish up with some stretching. Okay, so just bringing those arms in front again so you're good and warmed up now. So marching those feet, bringing those arms, swinging those arms. All right, let's bring those feet wide. So going at your own pace here. Bring those feet back together. Let's just tap forward. Let's bring a heel forward and press. Let's do a side step. So one foot to the other, bring the arms into it. Okay, let's do a tap out to the outside and arm overhead. Going at a comfortable, safe pace for you. Slow it down if you need to. Back into a march. So let's press those hands forward. Okay, let's do a hamstring curl, so tricep press. Let's do a side step. Next one, we're gonna tap it to the side. We're gonna do a bicep curl to one side. Okay, so tapping out and a bicep curl. Back into a march. We are almost done. All right, feet out to the side again, a wide step. And let's bring them in and out, in and out. Okay, back to a heel tap, pressing forward. A side step. So hopefully you guys are still with me. We're almost done. Okay, back to a toe top and let's just slow it down. breath in and breathing out. Okay, 
Let's go into our stretching. So we're gonna hold on to the wall. If you don't need to, that's fine. If you wanna challenge the balance too, we're gonna do our quad stretch first. So bringing that foot back. Hands are by your shoelaces. You're just pulling back on the, on the leg. So I'm keeping my legs close together though when I bring that leg back up. None of this, okay, none of this, and then none of this out to the side. Legs are close together and just pulling that one foot back so you feel that stretch in the front of your leg. Now bring that, kick that foot forward, sitting back and stretching out that calf muscle. So right here. Excellent, coming out of that stretch, let's switch to the other side, bringing that quad, the foot back, legs are close together. And kicking that foot forward, sitting back into that stretch, feeling that in your calf muscle. And standing up straight, we're gonna bring our arms out to the side, push them to the walls, feel that in your arms. Taking a deep breath in and breathing out. Bring the arms together, pressing those arms out in front. and then bringing the hands back so you feel that stretch in your chest. Good, let's just rotate those wrists. Other direction. Let's bring our feet wide. We're just gonna lean to one side, feel that stretch all the way down your side. And over to the other side. Bring that arm back down. Finishing with one deep breath. Deep breath in, bringing the arms overhead. And breathing out. Thank you for joining me. I hope to see you next time. Please uh, write comments down below. Let me know what you liked about the class. And please share the videos if you find them helpful. Share them with your friends or on Facebook or however it is that you share stuff that you like. All right, I hope it helped you out. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.